Or even if like you sleep with her, you want a relationship, you didn't get there, that could be a failure too, technically. <laughs> if you walk up to a 9-5 and you bang her, but she doesn't become your girlfriend, that's a failure. Write that down. Thank you, Todd V. Look at him here. <laughs> this is what he tells people when they, they train with him for a year and don't get laid. Eh! What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm reacting to Todd V. Okay, he's answering the question, once I have a really good approach one day, I don't feel like doing it again the next. So we're going to go through and react to his advice regarding that. Okay, so let's jump right in. And the person asks, how do I stop settling for these wins and actually push myself to improve? So as you're starting, making an event of like, I'm going to go do game is actually a good thing because it forces you to do it, right? But once you are actually going out and approaching... <laughs> with the fucking body rocking shit plus all the rising intonation is so fucking weird once you're gonna make the do game and that's just like a thing it's becoming normal to you the what you actually want as your end goal is that you're just <laughs> his audio isn't even synced with his mouth the guy that in your life when you see a girl that interests you you can go right then you don't need a warm-up you don't need the the practice and all that kind of stuff he talked about fucking warm-ups for 10 years with rsd right. um one of the best ways to do that is to make your practice sporadic throughout the week as opposed to all on the weekends or all in one venue, right? So if, for example, you're going on Friday and Saturday nights and doing night game, if you were to just add in half an hour on a Tuesday to just go do day game, that would make day game more normal for you. It would make game in your normal life more normal for you, all those kind of things. Um, so that that's just a good idea. So I never recommend that you put forth time to do day game sessions, okay? There's not much return from day game for the hours put in, the bang for the buck is just not there. Most of your leads will come from online and night game. A better rule for yourself is that you're gonna follow the three second rule, which means you have no, long, you know, no longer than three seconds before you approach. Every time you see a girl that's above your attractiveness threshold that you would sleep with. So rather than just waiting for the weekend to go out to the club, when you see attractive girls, when you're out and about doing other stuff, that's when you can go in and make those approaches. Right. Also, not having as big of a gap between sessions is better for developing habits. But a lot of what you're talking about, it sounds like you have a little bit of an ego about game still. Right? Yeah. So specifically that thing where you said, once I have a really good approach one day, I don't want to do it the next day. Mm -hmm. That means that you're seeing yourself as the guy who did that approach. Right? And By the way, like, so I read this book called Zen and the Art of Poker, and it was talking about like keeping your emotions in check so that you don't go on tilt, as it's referred to, and let your emotions get the best of you and start playing incorrect strategy. The same applies here. You wanna look at every interaction in a vacuum. It doesn't matter if you've had 10 rejections in a row or if you've had five bad nights out in a row, you don't wanna carry that negative energy into the next set. And conversely, if you've had like 10 positive reactions in a row or 10 positive nights out in a row, you don't wanna carry that in and, and think like, oh, I'm on a good run. I'm just gonna ride luck here, it's in my favor and all this stuff. You wanna go in and play every interaction from a technical optimization standpoint with optimal strategy, and then let the chips fall where they may, so to speak. Okay, so you don't wanna, like, that's why I always tell guys, think of your state or your kind of worth and value at 100 out of 100 at all times. It doesn't get impacted by rejections. It doesn't get impacted by a string of rejections. It doesn't get impacted by negative reactions or insults. It doesn't get reacted by bad nights out or nights where you come up short or wherever, or whatever, right? So you need to look at each interaction in a vacuum, try to implement all the proper strategy, which I'm going to teach this weekend for $27. That's right. All cold approach knowledge is going to be dumped into your brain on a live event that's virtual this Friday and this Saturday. All the details are in the link in the description. It's called the Approach Breakthrough Challenge. For an additional $97, you get a bonus third day, you get lifetime access to all the trainings, and you get bonus Q&As with me and live telegram support from me and my coaches when you're out doing approaches this weekend. Okay, so I highly recommend you join that. $27 is a steal. You're getting thousands of dollars worth of material for virtually free almost, okay? $27 is not gonna fucking break the bank. Cheaper than a date, cheaper than a meal out, okay? And I'm gonna teach you everything I know about night game and day game, okay? So make sure you sign up if you haven't already. Lots of people are, are filling into that event. So maybe you have an, an ego about yourself in, in terms of your attractiveness or maybe you have an ego about your game. It could be e either or, um, <clears throat> but it's definitely an egoic thing, right? It's definitely that. Um, and so you- Not necessarily, right? Like if a guy does bad, multiple nights, he's gonna think that he's gonna do bad the next time. And it lots of times becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, it's like negative spiraling. 
He's like, well, I sucked the last three times. I'm probably going to suck again, but let's go try. And he comes in expecting to get rejected. And when you come in assuming you're going to get rejected or that there's a decent chance or like this is what always happens to me and these negative stories you're telling yourself, that's going to come through in your verbals and in your body language, and it's going to massively increase the chances of it going poorly again. And then the guy's like, look, see, I told you, right? And it, it's like confirmation bias. Now he's like feeding his incorrect theory because he has this negative opinion of himself. Okay. And then a lot of times it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So instead you need to keep your spirits and morale high and keep your value in your mind high. Okay. Regardless of success or failure. Okay. And you want to, you want to try to always keep that in mind. Think of your life as this timeline where you're going to do thousands of approaches potentially, or you're going to at least have thousands of potential girls that you could meet, whatever your, whatever your, um, you know, means of meeting girls is. And um, one of those is just one data point. It could have happened this day or it could have happened a year later or a year earlier or five days later, five years. It's just, it's, it's all just random. And you want to think of yourself as like you're in control and out of control at the same time. Does that make sense? It's, it's very random. And so you don't know what your results will be day to day, right? You talk to a girl today and she has a boyfriend. That's not your fault. By the way, if you guys are ready for the full solution, including all my texting, like this weekend's going to be cold approach training only for 27 bucks. But to learn my entire system, check out platinumdatingsystem.com or there's a link in the description for a free 30 minute call. You talk to the girl tomorrow and she doesn't have a boyfriend. You could have done worse game on the girl that didn't have a boyfriend and gotten a better result, right? So statistically, every single set is random, but a thousand sets is very predictable. Like the net result of a thousand sets is very. So he's talking about his variance, right? Like the same thing is true in poker. You're making highly probabilistic moves, but you're gonna encounter situations where you lose. You could have 80% chance to win on a certain pot, for instance, in poker, and they catch that 20% and you lose. But you wanna make that play every time because four times out of five, you're gonna win. A lot of people will mistakenly, you know, and illogically think, oh, I should have done something else. No, you want to make the winning moves, but that me that doesn't mean that you're going to be guaranteed to win. You just want to make the highest probability moves. And then over the long term, those moves will come out ahead. As I said, with an 80% shot, you're going to win four out of five times, right? So you want to keep making the best moves. And in the long term, that's going to pay off. That's why this is a skill game. This is a strategy game. Making more and more of the right moves is going to lead to more and more results over time. But that doesn't preclude you, even at a very high level of skill, from running into you know four or five girls that are in a bad mood or that have boyfriends or having multiple nights out where just almost every girl is in a bad mood or has a boyfriend who doesn't like you for whatever reason. And that can fuck with your head, right? Like even Josh, okay, who helps with coaching on the team, he was saying that he had like five days in a row where multiple girls flaked and like he came up short like five days in a row and he's like, what happened to my game? What's going on? But it's just variance. Okay, the same thing can happen in the opposite direction where you have dates stacked multiple per day for five days and they all show up. You just have to be able to roll with the ebbs and flows of the game, but you want to kind of shoot for one to two new girls a week, 50 to 100 girls a year. But sometimes you're going to run into a string of flakes. Sometimes you're going to do a string of negative reactions. And sometimes you run into a string of nights out that don't produce anything. But you have to still keep your spirits high and keep implementing proper strategy. And you don't most guys don't even know what that proper strategy is. Okay, so the, to learn that full proper strategy, check out our event this weekend. Link in the description. Does that make sense? Or 100 or whatever, yeah. right? So it's your job to, your job is to do good game and do it enough that it has a chance to pay off, yeah. right? And you should understand that you're supposed to get some amazing results and supposed to get some rejections. And getting a rejection doesn't make you, you're not suddenly a different person after getting rejected than you were before. You're not suddenly a different person after having sex with a beautiful girl than you were the day before. Mm -hmm. You are still fundamentally the same person, yeah. right? And you will have, you will occasionally sleep with a really hot girl when your game's not as good, and then you'll go through a dry spell when your game is better. Yeah. Doesn't mean your game suddenly was better before or something like that, mm -hmm. right? So you have to understand that there, there is that randomness and judge yourself, and this is the very important thing, judge yourself by what you did not by what came of what you did. So if I do a good approach and the girl just doesn't like it, like if, if I'm like... Yeah, that's actually a decent point, right? I make fun of this guy a lot because his infields are fucking atrocious and a lot of what he teaches is extremely overcomplicated. But you should just be trying to make the best moves and then let chips fall. They made the poker analogy really applies here. It's like if you made a move that works 80% of the time or it gives you 80% odds on a certain hand, 
that's a great move and you want to always make that move if that person catches the 20 percent that doesn't made you that doesn't mean you made the wrong move and it doesn't mean you should adjust and start you know going for the 20 percent move because then you'll only win one out of five times legitimately charismatic and clever and witty and charming and the girl just doesn't appreciate it. i'm like she has no taste you know whatever I've look, look at him here <laughs> this is what he tells people when they they train with him for a year and don't get laid eh. So as a side point, you want to keep like a brick wall between how you see yourself at 100 out of 100 value and then what happens from external events in the environment. Rejection, who cares? Still at 100 out of 100. Rejections all night, who cares? Still at 100 out of 100. Okay, bad nights out multiple times in a row, who cares? Girl insults me, who cares? Okay, yes, we're humans and yes, we're affected emotionally by how people perceive us and if our expectations get busted out. But you have to realize that there's a lot of things outside of your control in this game, including the girl's mood, if she's in a relationship, if she's been approached all night, if she just genuinely doesn't want to talk to anyone that night, et cetera. And that's going to play into how she's going to respond to you. If you go forth and put forth optimal strategy, the thing is that most of you guys are not putting forth good strategy. That's problem number one. I'm not saying go do whatever at all times and don't care if you're rejected constantly, right? Go do optimal strategy. That's the key caveat. And then when rejections happen or it doesn't work out, see what you can learn from it, but don't take it personally. Okay, most guys, once they hit a rejection, they're gonna let their world crumble and take it very personally, and that's a big mistake. What, what can I do, right? Um, <clears throat> whereas if I do a half-assed approach and the girl doesn't like it, I'm like, yep, that's me, right? I've even done that. Like, you know how, um, you know how in, uh, in sports, if, if, you, like, if you score an own goal in, in football or whatever, you're like, yep, that was me, guys, right? I actually did one of those. I was, I was, get, I was being filmed and I like, really, really messed up. I like, just, just did like a bunch of things wrong and there was no way it would possibly go. Nice job, world-class guru. I could have pursued this at further, but it was just, I knew I'd done it wrong. He's like, maybe he's talking about the, the interaction that I broke down, which we'll link in the end screen <laughs> about Todd V getting asked to leave by these two girls sitting on a bench in a park 12 times before they finally get up and leave themselves. Okay, that's an example of him doing a lot of things wrong and still trying to keep it going. Yep, that was me, I'm sorry. Yep. I was like, yep, that was me. I messed up, I give up. Go have, have, a, have a nice day, ma'am, right? Um, Man, you're approaching guys. That's it's fine as far as it goes, but the point is to judge yourself. Have a nice day, sir. I guess I'm not gonna bang you today. Based on what you did <laughs> and make your criteria for success and criteria for your own happiness based on what you did, not based on what the girl gave you. Because what the girl gave you is random and out of your control. And if you can do that, if you Again, there's a caveat here. What they give you back is not entirely random and outside of your control. You're gonna still make mistakes and learn things. Like if you do something, that's, that's why you need to be cognizant. You need like a, okay, a lot of guys that have come and trained with me, they're like, my confidence goes way up and this feels a lot more like easy and, and less stressful because I know exactly what to do no matter what happens. Okay, and they also have something to measure against what they should be doing versus what they did because I give them optimal strategy. If you don't know, or you're watching a bunch of random dumbasses on YouTube or other places, okay, and you're in Facebook forums, all this shit, which are all littered with misinformation, I can't stress that enough, and massively suboptimal theory and just plain wrong theory in lots of cases, you don't know that you're making mistakes, okay? Like all these guys that were going out doing RSD nonsense in mass didn't know that a lot of the stupid shit they were doing was dead wrong and was repelling girls. So they're like, they go out, they get rejected. Okay, trust the process. Get out, go out, get rejected. Okay, trust the process. Years start falling off the calendar. They're not making key adjustments because they don't even fucking know what adjustments they should be making or what the optimal strategy is. So when they come to me finally, if they, <laughs> sound arrogant here, but if they're so lucky to find my shit and learn a real system, I very often get them pulling on night one. I very often get them packed out with dates in their schedule by week two or three of my week program. And the reason being is now we're fixing all the mistakes and they see like, oh shit, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be doing that. And they're eliminating a lot of the things that were fucking them up. So the big lesson here, and this is really imp a really important point, is you don't wanna just be going and doing whatever or going and doing some stuff that some dummies on YouTube told you to do, okay? guys that aren't proving results and don't have massive proof of their, their students' results either. And you shouldn't be just going and doing whatever and then being like, well, you know, it'll work itself out. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, do my thing. And this is even especially more poisonous coming from Todd because most of his shit is extremely overcomplicated and doesn't work. So when guys go and do Todd principles, 
they're mostly going to get rejected. I, I see them coming to me after and they're like, I just got destroyed endlessly. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You're doing all this stuff that Todd told you to do. That's what you're doing wrong. Okay. A lot of that is really way off and completely nonsensical. So it's not a matter of like, do whatever and then be like, okay, it's fine. It'll work out eventually. It won't <laughs> in lots of cases. Okay. However, if you're being trained on an optimal system that works like mine, extremely well, works better than any other system out there. And that's proven with endless amounts of results and proof. I have over a thousand testimonials on our proof page in the description. Then and only then can you say, okay, I need to, I made these mistakes here because now you have a benchmark to compare what you did versus what you should be doing. And you have a world-class expert to help course correct whenever you run into mistakes. And I can point out what those mistakes are. Hey, I had a date and this happened and it didn't pull home. Okay, did you do this? Did you do that? No, I forgot to do that. Okay, there's the problem. They go on a date again that very night or the next day. They make the adjustment. Now they got the girl back home. Hey, we didn't hook up. Uh, this happened. Okay, here's the, where the mistake is. Fix this and this. Now they get the hookup. Now they don't retain the girl. Here, here's what we need to fix to retain the girl. And then they like can go forth and repeat that process on any girl with high level results. So you need a proper benchmark. Okay, I will be teaching guys cold approach this weekend. It's $27. Anyone can spare that if you can't get a loan from someone. Okay, $27 to learn everything I know about cold approach. The link is in the description for that. I'm going to go far beyond anything I've ever gone into on YouTube, all my objection responses, my pull scripts, every little detail of everything I know about cold approach will be taught to you this weekend. Okay? You can make your goal when you're going out to do good game that you can be proud of and talk to the girls you genuinely like. Therein lies the rub. Guys don't know what good game is or looks like, and especially not Todd. If that, that's your goal, then you can achieve that goal every single night. That makes sense? Um, so as, as much as you can be internally validated by the fact that you did well, rather than externally validated by the fact that it went well. Yeah. Um, that should Again, like this is missing the piece that <laughs> it's assuming that like you're going out and doing good strategy. Almost everyone is not. Almost everyone is extremely far away from good strategy. And you also need to let the results pump up your confidence and pump up how you feel about yourself. If you are banging hot chicks, you should feel great. And then you, you know, like let's say you bang your first eight. Now, when you go up to a seven or 7.5, it should be a lot easier and a lot less pressure on you because you've already banged a girl hotter or you already have a girl hotter in rotation. Right, and the same applies at other levels of quality and other feats that you perform in the game. Be where your focus is. All right, so the more you can shift your focus. <laughs> this wallpaper in the background, there's like fucking whales and shit. To that, the more you can make your, like. Looks like he's in his kid's bedroom. Todd has a fucking baby, by the way, with this chick that's super busted that he's been with for like six or seven years. What a fucking dumbass. An internal locus of control. The other thing too, um, <laughs> and this is for everybody, especially beginners, but for everybody. Internal locus. Almost every single approach you do, afterwards you can categorize it as a success or a failure. Basically any approach where you didn't sleep with a girl at, for sure, right? Or didn't get into a relationship or whatever. Even if like you sleep with her, you want a relationship, you didn't get there, that could be a failure too, technically. <laughs> if you walk up to a 9-5 and you bang her, but she doesn't become your girlfriend, that's a failure. Write that down. Thank you, Todd V. Any single approach you do, you could categorize as... I would categorize him fucking having a baby with a busted chick as a failure. A colossal failure at that. Success or failure. <laughs> and it's up to you what you're going to do. If you're constantly categorizing it as a failure, game is going to suck and game is going to be hard and game is going to be like daunting and scary. But if you're constantly finding the way that it was a success, then it Okay, but again, don't take this to the extreme. That, that therein you have a guy like Johnny Burba. Okay, I've done videos on Johnny Burba. We can put up a couple thumbnails of those. And Johnny Burba is just saying that if you take action of any sort, if you do the approach, it's win-win. Doesn't matter if you're an ass clown, doesn't matter if you get harshly blown out doing stupid stuff, saying stupid stuff. Just going out and talking to people is a giant win. Everything's win-win. Win-win. That's like a pathetic cope reframe, okay? That's not a win. And you shouldn't just pat yourself on the back for simply taking action. You wanna actually get laid. Don't ever let anyone tell you different. Most of these coaches tell you, don't worry about getting laid. Don't worry about the results. Don't worry about getting numbers or, or you know, pulling girls home or don't worry about any of that. Just trust the process. That's how RSD got away with selling you 70 plus products. That's how they got away with selling you boot camps and packs of four. That's how they got away with dangling a carrot in front of you that you'll never reach. Okay. That, that, People just perpetually tried to reach, but never could. Don't let them tell you that it's okay to not be getting laid from their strategies. If their strategies aren't working quickly, ditch them. 
Okay, and that's a good litmus test, and that'll help you dispense of almost every other coach in the industry. I don't know any coach that's consistently churning out guys advanced at the game besides myself, and very quickly at that. I don't know of any coach that's very consistently getting guys to pull home from boot camps on the first night of the program for the first night of their life, okay, very consistently. If you do, please let me know in the comments, okay? I don't care if it happened once or twice. I'm talking about consistency on a big scale. You have to fucking learn from the right people. You have to learn from people that are showing you proof of getting endless results for themselves and their clients. It's gonna be fun, All right? So if you have, you know, if you consistently are able to get 30 second conversations, you talk to a girl and it lasts a minute, you can say that's a success. It lasted longer than it usually does. Or you can say that's a failure because you didn't sleep with me. That's a failure because I didn't get a number, All right? It's both. both. It's like glasses half empty, half full shit. You're somewhat having a positive mentality. But don't, you know, don't be patting yourself on the back too much just for taking action, just for doing the approaches, blah, blah, blah. You, you want to be going for the fucking numbers and polls and the quantitative and qualitative metrics that matter, that are going to make your life enhanced, that are going to give you a return from all this fucking time, effort, and possibly money that you're putting into this area of your life. Okay. That's why I pride myself on actually delivering results quickly and extremely, very fast, very effectively. I'm churning guys out that are beasts that are leaving the program they we program with their schedules always packed full of dates if they want it like that knowing how to get regular hookups knowing how to get girls on rotation quickly okay that it will stay that stick around have them you know girls falling for you and, and having full package girls you can make your girlfriend that is what you need to aspire to okay not fucking patting yourself on the back because you had a 30 second interaction or because you did an approach, maybe in the extreme, you know, very beginning, but things should change relatively quickly if what you're doing is working. And if the coach is effective, most of these coaches are not effective. So they tell you to just be happy with any little tiny victory. Okay, and I think that's a, a big like mistake. They're true. It is a success and a failure at the same time. But the question is, which are you gonna categorize it as and which is more helpful to you at this point in your game, at this point in your learning, right? So um, what, the, on a deep level, love yourself, and, and give yourself the feedback that's gonna be most helpful to you, whatever that is, rather than the feedback that's, that's not helpful to you. And that changes it at various points. <laughs> Make sure you're just focusing on any little thing that went positive and don't give yourself negative feedback. No, you should feel the pain and the discomfort of making mistakes that lead to not getting late. Okay, I, that's how I progressed so quickly and so, you know, so extensively is even if I like pulled, got laid, the same night went back out, pulled and got laid, but missed a third girl that wanted to meet up because I forgot to text her. I would beat myself up about that for days. My friends would be like, dude, we didn't fuck anyone last night. You fucked two girls. I don't care. I'm looking at every set in a vacuum. An interaction only needs to be good enough to get the girl. There's still a lot of like better, you know, there's still a lot of room for improvement in almost any interaction. You're never running perfect interactions. That's why this is so much fun is because you, you can always find mistakes or missteps in any interaction, even if it was successful, right? So you need to look at what you did wrong anywhere and everywhere. And you need what I said, a, a solid benchmark of an optimized system. So you know exactly what you did wrong and a expert level world-class coach. So they can show you not only what you did wrong, but how you can drive in the fixes. And that is how you improve. That is precisely how you improve. Don't let anybody fucking tell you otherwise that, oh yeah, you you know, just focus on the fact that you took action and went out. That's why I ran into guys that train with Todd for a year, going out five or six or even seven nights a week and get laid zero times, okay? Because they're patting themselves on the back for going and doing all this bullshit, cold reading, push pull, building the story, blah, blah, blah. All that shit, it doesn't work. It's fucking trash and it's gonna repel girls. Hey, watch my video on the end screen about Todd's fucking magic at work, having girls tell him to leave 12 times before they actually leave. Hey, sad, pathetic, disgraceful. But, so, but Todd is technical. And I, no, fuck off. You don't know what you're talking about. Go try his stuff. Watch yourself not get laid. Then come to me and I'll fix it for you permanently. Okay, we have that challenge coming up Friday and Saturday. If you have not yet signed up, I highly, highly encourage you to sign up. My life's work of all my cold approach knowledge over 15 to 20 years of doing cold approach and optimizing it is all going to be presented on display for you for 27 bucks. You might be wondering, well, what, what, what's the catch here? Is there going to be follow on charges? No, there's not. There is no catch. The reason, one of the major reasons why we're doing this is so that we can blow you away since we have the most extreme value to offer in the industry, blow you away with how much I can teach you and level you up in just two short days for 27 bucks so that then you want to learn texting from me, online game, online game messaging, 
how to build your profile, how to run your dates, how to close your dates, how to retain the girls, how to pick up hired guns and strippers, how to have threesomes, how to get your quality up, how to get your dream dating situation. All that happens on my eight-week program. This is so that you can become a believer. Maybe you've looked at our thousand testimonials and you're like, well, well maybe this won't apply to me. Or you've heard me tell these success stories. Well, I'm different. I'm short or I'm Indian or I'm too old or I'm too fat or Come on the fucking thing, spend the $27, watch your game skyrocket, and then you will literally become a believer because it will have worked for you in practice. Okay, that's one of the major goals of doing this event. And most coaches can't do that because they have shitty fucking teachings that don't work, okay, and actually make you worse in most cases. Okay, so let me know what you think of all this in the comments. Check out the link to sign up for our event in the description. Like and subscribe, and I will see you on a video soon. And check out that Todd V video on the end screen. It's hilarious. All right, everybody, take care. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar Trying to get out of cluster of fours Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon